This right here is the Philips Seiko Cynthia. It is a home-based automatic espresso maker, fully automatic. Just doing a little once-over. Rex is over there for scale. A quick rundown of the parts of the machine. It's currently off, so I can get a good uh, angle and everything. Right here we have the frothing wand. Decent amount of movement left and right. Not forward or backwards. Has a little rubber stopper up here so you don't go too deep into the pitcher. Very nice. Easy to clean. Over here, tank for the water. Nice big tank. If you look at the bottom of it, that little white dot is actually a connector for where you would put a water filter. So it's, uh, it's nice and good water makes good coffee or good water depending on where you are. Down here we have the drip tray. One of my favorite things about the whole machine is that the entire drip tray comes out. It's hard to do with one hand, but there it is. whole machine comes out. There's two nice long trays going all the way back. And the actual tray itself right here is put in by magnets. So if you see right down there, that's a little magnet. Over there's a little magnet. The entire thing snaps right into place. Push it in. Up top right here is the group head. Up, down, all around. Here's the controls. Very, very simple. You have your espresso button over here. You have your long coffee button over here, which is very similar to an Americano. Up here you have your strength or aroma indicator and uh, it goes from one bean to three and you can also use pre-ground coffee if that's your bag. This is also the power button so you can probably figure that out. Here we have the lovely make espresso button. You click over there for the wand to steam. You click down here for hot water. So it's also useful if you're trying to increase the volume and you can make hot tea with it. Up top here we have the UV coated uh, airtight relatively anyway uh, hopper for beans there's a couple little uh, stragglers in there now but we're not ready to test yet and right here is actually the little flip uh, spout for the instant coffee believe it or not the instant coffee spout is available at all times and I didn't think I would originally need it but I gotta tell you that when I first got the machine when it was first sent to me um, <laughs> I didn't have any whole bean coffee in the house so I was like hey you know I really like to try it out and you know lo and behold Nice little easy situation going on, and you don't have to worry about it spilling into the um, grinder. And the grinder, which you can't really see, uh, is actually you know hidden very nicely down there. Is a ceramic conical burr grinder. Uh, those little these little guys spin around to knock the coffee down. Back here gives you up to six different grinds from a little bit uh, thicker and coarser down to a little bit finer. I usually get, uh, err on the side of finer in this case. Okay, so that's. Up there, now we move on down to this side of the machine. This is a drawer just for spent coffee bucks. And then this whole contraption pops open to reveal the workings. So, uh, yeah, there you go, that's a better shot of it. So this is actually the piece where all of the magic happens. You push it up, There's everything on this is very ergonomically designed. So if you see my fingers fit right on there, it's kind of like a pistol grip. Push forward, the whole thing comes out. Very easy to clean. Now for the litmus test, machine is off, but uh, still has the blinking power indicator. Fire it up once. Drop the cup under there. I have filled the uh, water container and filled the bean hopper up. You'll see uh, the system preps just for a little bit. What it's doing right now is forcing water through the boiler and out the group head so that it actually well, warms up the cup and also warms up the system as a whole. Compared to some of the other espresso machines out there, this thing is unbelievably quiet. Make sure the uh, thing over here is on. The light is green. The trap is clean. Alright, first thing we're going to do, we're going to make some espresso. So you go over here, we have the double walled uh, Bodum Pavina glasses. We're going to drop the group head way down so that it looks nice and attractive. We're going to move up here very carefully, very calmly. We have three beans because that's how we roll. We have the one button. <laughs> So 
So just ground the uh, beans. Right now we are using Pete's Major Dickinson's blend. It's kind of a uh, mid to dark roast. You see the uh, espresso that's actually coming out. It helps crema up fairly quickly. Has a nice, easy, easy and smooth pour. Relatively, you know, 20 to 25 seconds total. A little idea. Now, since we have made these, move them off to the side. Go back over here. Move the group head up. So you can see what I'm talking about. Pull out the trash bin, and you look down in there. You can actually see the puck. It's fairly solid, so it actually does a pretty good job of compression. Now we're going to go back over. If you notice, it's ready to brew again right away. So we're going to take the 8 ounce, or the uh, 12 ounce rather, uh, double walled glass from Bodum. You're going to hit the long coffee button. So it ground the beans up nice and good. Preps the system a little bit. Throws a long pour of a shot of espresso in there so you'll see the uh, espresso color coming out right away. But then it's going to continue to push the, uh, the hot water through. I think it actually might do it at a slightly lower temper, but it usually it ends up right around uh, 7 to 8 ounces of uh, actual liquid. So, it's a nice good cup of coffee in the morning. It is unbelievably smooth when you're drinking these. And uh, I've been drinking a lot of Red Eyes because it can do the espresso and the uh, long coffee right, at, right in a row. So uh, I'll throw a shot of espresso in the bottom of my mug and then I'll put a long coffee, coffee on top of it and I'm ready to go. It actually does double shots right off the bat. So it's, uh, it's just the right amount for me. If you look that, that right there is just unbelievable. Looks really, really nice. Settles fairly quickly. Drops the puck in. Now, just to show you the kind of uh, space that it has, this is the keep cup. That unfortunately does not fit under there, but that's the 16 ounce variety. It fits anything 12 ounces and under. So if you have a little fine china, it works fine. If you have Normal coffee mug, works fine. If you have a little teacup, you can drop it over. That works fine. Pours the hot water right out the spout until you stop it, so it's actually uh, slightly different. I never put the cup right under that one because uh, it's usually helpful. To let it clear out just a little bit before you go. Steaming hot water. Actually makes a very good cup of tea. I've tried it a couple times. So there you go. It is the Felix Phillips. Seiko Cynthia, uh, and uh, it is the really, really interesting uh, fully automatic espresso machine and uh, long coffee maker.